On the outskirts of Calgary lies a small cemetery. There are no gravestones here, just laminated pieces of paper held up by small plastic stakes. One of them marks the grave of Tara Niptanatiak, but the name on that piece of paper is wrong. It's a mistake that prevented her family from knowing she was buried here. They didn't even know she was dead. It hurts knowing that um, she's alone and she's been, she's been there for quite some time. Nipton Atiak grew up in Cambridge Bay, Nunavut, but had been living in Calgary for about a year. Heavily addicted to drugs, she spent a lot of her time on the streets. After her family didn't hear from her for months, her worried aunt flew to Calgary. Police told her Nipton Atiak's body had been found two months earlier in a dumpster without identification. The medical examiner took fingerprints and got a match in a national RCMP database. It's there that Nipton Atiak's last name was misspelled. The medical examiner's office says they searched for a next of kin for a month before burying her. You know, she's somebody's mother. She's, she's somebody's sister. She's someone's daughter. She's not just a piece of garbage, you know. The RCMP won't say how Niptanatiak's last name came to be misspelled. Her family is now waiting for the Alberta government to give them custody of her body. The community of Cambridge Bay has fundraised more than $7,000 to pay for her exhumation. Niptanatiak will be buried here among her ancestors. I know that when I had spoken to Tara a while ago, that's where she wanted to be because because Tara doesn't have a voice right now. Um, that's been my number one priority. While they wait, the Niptanatiak family says they want a full investigation and they want the Alberta government to pay for her exhumation so they can afford to give Niptanatiak the celebration of life she deserves. Hillary Bird, CBC News, Yellowknife.